Okay, looks like we've got everybody now, and we have with us Austin FC defender Julio Cascante. I'm just going to pause one second here while we permit everyone to record. And it looks like our first questions will come from Mike Craven, Claire Partain, followed by John Lupo. And Mike, if you're ready, go ahead. Hey, Julio, from your perspective, um, just how hard is it um, to play, you know, your ninth game out of 10 on the road and then with that many changes and injuries before the game even started? Oh, it's really hard. It's really hard, but um, we don't like to use excuses. I think it's about soccer and it can happen. Unfortunately, uh, we have a couple of guys injured even at the beginning of the season. Uh, but it's about that, you know, it's about how, how you react against all those um, things that happen, you know, all those in injuries. And, and well, we, we just, I think we, it's about how we work, how we work to, uh, to react against that. Uh, today was a really hard game. Where at the beginning you you lost um, Alex, then Nick, we feel so bad. Uh, of course, uh, we came with a mentality to win this game, um, but unfortunately we 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 give away those those three points. Okay, uh, Claire, if you're ready. Hey, Julio. Um, this is you guys' first midweek match. Um, did you have to prepare any differently or take a different approach for such a quick turnaround? Uh, I think that's the, the, the beautiful thing about this game. We played today, and right away we have to like, change our mentality uh, to play the next game uh, in um, four days. Uh, we have to like prepare tomorrow, start it right away the recovery sessions uh, because, well, we're going to play at home and uh, I think we have to show our fans what, what they, 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 are, they have been expecting from us. I think they want us to, to show them uh, how, how difficult team we can be at home. Um, and then, well, it's going to be a difficult uh, game against the, the champion of the last season. And of course, uh, we have to like uh, just stand up and, and put the, the chest and, and, and keep working on, on, on this season. That is a very long season that for us, uh, it's a game that we lost, of course, but it hurts. And, but we have to change the mentality, like I said. <clears throat> Next up is John Lupo. Uh, Julio, do, do you think now that you played nine of 10 games on the road, you have four consecutive games coming up at home. Do you think that this gives you now an opportunity to just settle in? Hopefully the injuries to Nick and Alex aren't too bad. And with the atmosphere of how the first game at home against San Jose was, do you think this will be an opportunity to, uh, you know, get the crowd behind you establish the Q2 as a fortress and, just to be able to finally just get settled in on the season overall? Um, well, I think we work like every week um, for the weekend, for the game. And at the end is the coach who decides like, who plays and who doesn't, right? Uh, right now, I think I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to keep, to, keep, to keep playing, to be in those starting players. And... And it's about that. It's about work. It's about to show the coach uh, how I can like uh, step on the field and do, do my best. And like I said, it's a long season. Anything can happen. Uh, right now, well, I hope the Nick and Alex they are good. It's not uh, that bad. But well, like I said, uh, right away we have to like think about uh, our recovery uh, these four days and be ready for that game on the weekend. Okay, next up will be Mark Turner, followed by Bob Ballou and Chris Bills. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, Julio. Um, coach mentioned in the press conference that he, 
he had in mind this next weekend's game. Um, at some point during this game, you know, he started to think that way a little bit and that started to manifest in some of the subs he was making. I'm wondering, at halftime, you're 2-0 down. Obviously, your backs are against the wall because of the subs you've had to make. Um, was there any conversation at halftime about, you know, guys, if we can get something from this game, great. If we can't, let's just, you know, batten down the hatches and we'll turn our attentions to the weekend. Was that conversation had at halftime? I think, like I said, we came to this uh, to this game thinking about to win. Uh, we never think about, okay, let's tie this game because next weekend we have a game at home and we can just uh, let it go, you know? Uh, I think that's uh, that's unprofessional. Uh, and I think we came here to win. Unfortunately, um, of course, it happens. They're playing at home. It's really hard to play. This is this in this league. It's really really hard uh, play away, and but it's okay. I think it's fine. Uh, we have now the revenge to play at home again, and, and I think this time maybe do it like better and win this game. That the supporters are expecting that, and of course uh, we are. We're going to work for that. Thanks, Julio. Okay, I believe Bob is next. Yeah, Julio, just 10 games in, this is about as much adversity as you guys can face, especially for a first-year franchise trying to come together. Uh, what's the most important thing y'all can do right now and say to each other to kind of fight through this? Uh, well, stay together. I think it's about that. It's about how, how we stick together, how – we work as a family. We don't let down any any of our players. Um, I think you saw today how every player that stepped in on, on the field, some of them, they play in different positions that they have never played, and they did really good. Uh, I think it's about that, is being prepared for the moment, the moment that you have to step in. Um, like, it's really hard to play. We have 10 games. Nine points. Uh, um, we would love to have like more points, of course, and I think we deserve in past games. But it's not about who deserves and who doesn't. It's about uh, to win and just work for that. And well, uh, I hope I hope this game this weekend we can do our best to get those three points that we are uh, really hoping. Um, before we go to Chris, I'll just tee up uh, Jorge Iterralde, Michelle Sanchez, and Mario Tapia for our last three. So, Chris, go ahead. Yeah, Julio, I think from watching these past few matches, I mean, whether it's due to injuries or, or, or performance or, you know, I, it just seems like you guys are, are missing uh, something to, to fully take advantage of, you know, what you're trying to create. What's been communicated, I guess, from Josh and from Claudio to the players to maybe let you know, you guys know that, that that maybe you'll have some more pieces later in the summer and, and be able to, you know, have more in the tank to, to go after these games. Has anything been communicated to try and sort of lift that that mood and that pressure that's on you guys right now? Um, no, no. I think the pressure we put it ourselves. Uh, I think for coaches, really, really hard right now. Try to figure it out what to do with it. How many players he have injury? You have uh, Ben, you have Ulises, you have uh, Danny, you have uh, Pereira, uh, now Alex, now Nick. It's really hard though, the amount of players uh, that got injury. But that's why we are a team, right? It's a team. So there's substitutes that they can just jump in and do their best to not feel that those players are missing. And it's about that, right? I think. Uh, today we saw that, we saw that with many, uh, he's not a forward, but he did his best. Uh, and in same thing with, um, uh, Aiden, Aiden play as a midfielder and he's like left back. Um, but it's hard. And when you have that compromise, right. To like play in different position where you have a play and they did, and they did it. They just jump in and did their best. Um, and it's about that. Uh, I hope, like I said, Alex is good. Uh, same with Nick. And they can play next week on the weekend. 
Yeah, I guess though, when you say, you know, everybody's doing their best and some of them are out of position, you know, is your best good enough right now? Uh, well, <clears throat> like I say, it's, it's hard when you have like that many injuries. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to use as excuses, but um, you lose like, the captain, right? Right at the deep, um, right before the start of the game. And you have to like adjust that uh, immediately, like in, I don't know, five minutes to see who's going to jump in and, and do what the captain just do. And well, it's about that. I think soccer is that, is a team. So just keep going. Great. Jorge, you're up. Hola, Julio. Eh, bueno, hablas de, de mantenerse juntos y de trabajar como una familia. Josh nos dice que trata de motivarlos a ustedes antes de cada partido y parece que así entran, pero conforme va pasando el partido, se ve como que el equipo empieza a bajar y bajar. ¿Cómo hacerle para que ustedes que están en el campo eh, puedan ayudarse en la parte, en la parte mental debido a, a los malos resultados que han tenido en los últimos partidos? Sí, creo que el cansancio es notable. Este, se nota mucho el cansancio de muchos jugadores y pasa la factura, como ya este, le pasó hoy a, a Nick, eh, a Alex, eh, de, después de estar jugando tantos partidos seguidos, eh, el cansancio, el cansancio perdón, viene. Eh, la motivación siempre está ahí, este, la motivación siempre viene de, de nuestras familias, nuestros hijos, esposas, eh, amigos. Eh, el profe siempre trata de estar ahí encima de nosotros, este, metiendo presión, metiendo esa motivación para levantarnos y, y seguir trabajando. Este, y como lo digo, hoy no fue la excepción. Él, antes del partido nos habló, nos dijo esto y lo otro. Terminó el primer tiempo, no lo hicimos tan bien. Creo que regalamos ese primer tiempo. Entramos al camerino, nos habló nuevamente, este, nos levantó y creo que salimos a la cancha. El segundo tiempo hicimos eh, las cosas mucho, mucho mejor. Eh, que bueno, desafortunadamente no, no fue suficiente para, para empatar el partido. Gracias. Michelle. Hola Julio, ¿cómo estás? Eh, eh, ¿Cuánto van a necesitar ustedes la afición en cara a Columbus este domingo? Eh, porque, como dices tú, hay mucha fatiga, mucho cansancio. ¿Cuántos los van a necesitar a ellos? No, creo que la afición siempre va a ser importante para cualquier equipo y, y creo que en, en caso de nosotros no es la excepción. Creo que el partido pasado en casa se demostró eh, la gran afición que es eh, Austin FC. Creo que, que ello nos impulsa muchísimo. Este, eh, podemos estar cansados, sí, pero los escuchamos a ellos eh, eh, gritar, eh, a, a alentarnos. Creo que ellos nos, nos levantan el ánimo y, y para seguir esforzándonos y, tra y tratar de buscar el gol. Eh, para el domingo esperamos lo mismo. Este, va a llegar probablemente algún momento en el que estemos cansados, pero ellos van a estar ahí para apoyarnos. Gracias. Bueno, bueno gracias. La última pregunta viene de Mario Tapia. Mario. Hola, Julio. ¿Cómo estás? Sí, hola. ¿Qué tal, Julio? Oye, Julio, mira, pues ya ha pasado un cuarto de, de temporada, eh, han sido ya 10 partidos, eh, sabemos que digo, son los primeros 10 partidos y parecen pocos, pero al mismo tiempo ya son 10 partidos. ¿Cómo calificarías tú el rendimiento del equipo en general durante estos 10 primeros partidos? ¿Mejor de lo que esperabas, exactamente como esperabas, o peor de lo que esperabas? Ah, es difícil hablar de eso, ¿verdad? Este, creo que que un equipo siempre quiere estar ahí eh, siendo protagonista. Nosotros pensábamos en eso, queríamos este, ser protagonistas, estar en las posiciones de clasificación este, y pelear. Pero desafortunadamente son 10 partidos que son bastantes. Eh, pero como lo dije, creo que son, que, que queda mucho por delante, queda mucho camino por delante en el cual podemos, cualquier cosa puede pasar. Creo que ya lo experimenté en Portland. Estuve ahí, situaciones la misma situación este, cinco partidos de, con derrotas pero pasa algo y, y el equipo se levanta y, y termina se, clasificando a los playoffs que ya luego en los playoffs es otra cosa con, fue totalmente diferente entonces nuestra, nuestra mentalidad está ahí este, seguir peleando eh, tal vez no, 
no, no es la mejor eh, temporada que llevamos hasta el momento, pero vamos a seguir, creo que no ha terminado, queda mucho, como dije, mucho camino por delante y vamos a seguir peleando para estar ahí y clasificar a los playoffs. Gracias, Julio. Nos vemos el domingo.